Hi, welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. Last time we created a model simulating a baseball player's performance on five at bats. You see the model here, right? Uh, we created this data for 100 games, all right, game one, etc. Now what we want to do is to tally up the number of games where the player got zero hits and one hit and two hits, etc. Uh, now we could do this, of course, by just carefully going through and counting all of these 100 numbers and then the number of zeros and the number of ones, etc. But we want the computer to do this for us. So what we really want to do is to have Excel uh, fill in this table I've created here over at the right uh, for us. Now, how do we do this? Well, what we want to do is we want to count the number of zeros here and then to count the number of ones and two, three, four. So we can use a built-in function called the count if function. So it's equal count if. And now it prompts us the range is going to be the series of numbers here, these hundred numbers. Now, I probably should hit the F4 function key. If you notice here, the range is going to be relative, but if I hit F4, it puts dollar signs around things. Okay, and now what's the criteria? Well, the criteria is going to be that the uh, number of hits should be the value in this cell. All right, so we'll close that parentheses and see if it works. Yeah, so okay, it got 15. I don't know if it actually the correct number or not, but but let's go ahead if I now just uh, click the fill handle. This gives us a whole bunch of numbers here. Okay, so I can check to see if I've got all of them by uh, doing the sum function. I guess I can just double click on the sum function here, and yes, it gets me 100. Now, the advantage of using this over some of the other uh, ways of doing this inside of Excel is that if I hit the F9 function key, then it changes the data in the the data that it changes here automatically gets reflected in the updating of the count. Well, that's it. That Oh, I should, one more thing I forgot. Okay, we need to do the uh, percent, the probability. That's what we were after, right? Equal, so we'll look at the count here and divide it by, well, whatever the sum is down here, the total. Make that dollar sign. And so... We see that, uh, well, this could just be the result sum down there. Uh, so it does add up to 1, as probability should. Okay, that looks like uh, we've created this probability distribution associated with the data. Uh, we'll look at how to uh, graphically display these in a later podcast. Thank you for viewing.